Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to lecture number 28 of the course on statistics and probability. Students, you will recall that in the last lecture, I discussed with you the discrete uniform distribution. And after that, we began the discussion of the binomial distribution. I will take up the discussion of the binomial in detail with reference to the same example that we started last time. As you now see on the screen, suppose that we toss a fair coin five times and we are interested in the number of heads. Thus, our random variable x, which denotes the number of heads, goes from 0 to 5 because we can have either no head or one head or two or three or four or a maximum of five. Ab sawaal ye peda hota hai ke is situation mein how do we obtain the various probabilities? Ab ye koi uniform distribution to hai nahi ke hum kahen ke in tamam x values ki probabilities barabar hain. In fact, in any such situation where the four basic properties of a binomial experiment are fulfilled, the ones that I shared with you in detail last time, students, the formula of the binomial distribution is probability that our random variable capital X takes the value small x is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x. In this formula, n and p represent the two parameters of the binomial distribution. n is the number of trials that has been fixed in advance and p is the probability of success in each trial. q represents the probability of failure in each trial and therefore q is equal to 1 minus p. Students, is formula ki derivation hum is course mein nahi karenge. I will simply convey to you how to apply this formula in real life situations where we have the binomial experiment going on. In this example, n is equal to 5 because we are tossing the coin 5 times and p is equal to half because we have said that the coin that we are tossing is a fair coin. So, substituting these two values in the formula that I just conveyed to you, we obtain the probability that my random variable capital X takes a value small x is equal to 5 c x half raised to x into half raised to 5 minus x. The point to be noted is that since p is equal to half, therefore q which is 1 minus p is equal to 1 minus half and that is half. All right. Now that we have the formula of the binomial distribution, students, what we have to do is to substitute the various values of x for which we want to find the probabilities. As I said earlier, the x values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so, uh, substituting these values in this formula one by one, we have the following situations. When x is equal to 0, the probability is 5c0 half raised to 0 into half raised to 5 minus 0. And solving this expression, the probability comes out to be 1 by 32. When x is equal to 1, the probability is given by 5c1 half raised to 1 into half raised to 5 minus 1. And therefore, the answer is 5 over 32. Proceeding in this manner, we obtain all six probabilities and in this example, 
they are 1 by 32, 5 by 32, 10 by 32 and 10 by 32, 5 by 32, 1 by 32. The sum of the probabilities is 32 by 32 and that is exactly what we wanted and of course we note that none of these probabilities is negative. Hence we are sure that we are dealing with a proper discrete probability distribution. Students, abhi jo distribution maine aapke saamne present ki, isme ek cheez I hope ke aapne note kar li hogi, it is an absolutely symmetrical distribution. Ab aap kahenge ke line chart to humne draw nahi kiya, to kaise pata chal gaya? I think it should be quite obvious. The probabilities were 1 by 32, 5 by 32, 10 by 32. Aur uske baad 10, 5 and 1 by 32. To aap table hi se andaza laga sakte hain ke wo agar us table ke darmiyan aap ek horizontal aina khada kare, yani litaye, to the top of the table is the mirror image of the bottom part of the table as far as the probabilities are concerned. Ek aur badi interesting baat note ki jay. Humne dekha ke jab humne x ki value 0 is formulae mein rakhi to humara answer aya 1 by 32. Students, ye ek fair coin tha jisko humne 5 dafa toss kiya. To kya hum ye keh sakte hain ke because of the fairness of the coin the chances of head occurring are exactly the same as the chances of tail? Of course, that is why we said that p is equal to half and q is also equal to half. Yani, the probability of head is half and the probability of tail is half. The point to understand is that because of this fact that head and tail are equally likely to occur, Therefore, these probabilities can also be computed by the direct formula which is the valid in the case of the classical definition of probability. The simplest formula that we all know, m over n, where m is the number of outcomes favorable to what I want and n is the total number of possible outcomes. So, you can see that this 1 by 32 answer hai for x equal to 0, kya is direct classical definition wale formula se bhi hame yehi result milna tha. Students, note ki jay ke we are tossing the coin 5 times. So, there are 2 ways of tossing the coin first time and 2 ways of tossing the coin second time and two ways of tossing the coin third time and so on. Or agar hum ye kaam paanch tafa karenge, to because of the multiplication theorem that we did some time back, what is the total number of ways in which we can toss the coin five times? Two into two into two into two into two. And students, this number is equal to 32. What we will obtain by tossing the coin five times in any one go is not a pair, not a triplet, but that thing which has five uh, entities, for example, tail, 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 or head, tail, 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 or head, head, tail, tail, tail and so on and so forth. Now the total number of such entities or such groups is 32 as I just mentioned, but we are interested in x equal to 0. That is the number of heads equal to 0. That is all tails and students you will agree with me that out of these 32 groups, 
one and only one is favorable to what I want. And which one is that? The first one, tail, 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 tail. Hence, according to the classical definition, one outcome favorable, 32 total number of possible outcomes, and the probability of x equal to 0, that is, no head, is 1 by 32. Dekha aapne, agar aap methodically problem ko approach kare, to everything falls in place. Or kisi kisim ki koi problem nahi aati. You see, when you deal with things mathematically, scientifically, things fall in place and one feels so happy and delighted that you have obtained the correct result and you have an intuitive feeling that it is correct. Now, as I said earlier, I will not be dealing with the derivation of the binomial formula in this course, but we will be applying it and I hope students that by this explanation that I have just presented, you are confident that the formula that I presented to you, ncx, p raised to x, q raised to n minus x is indeed the correct one for this kind of a situation. Having computed all the probabilities, of course, we are interested in drawing the graph of this distribution and just as before, we will be drawing a line chart in which we take the various x values along the x axis and the probabilities along the y axis. So, as you see on the screen, we obtain an absolutely symmetrical distribution. All right, what is the next thing we are interested in? As usual, the mean and the spread of the distribution. Students, now you know that for any probability discrete probability distribution, the mean is obtained by the formula expected value of x is equal to sigma x into f of x. And the variance is found by the formula expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. But you will be interested to know that in the case of the binomial distribution, these two rather cumbersome formulae can be replaced by two extremely simple ones. And as you now see on the screen, the mean of the binomial distribution is e of x is equal to n p and the variance of x is equal to n p q. Aapne dekha ke kis qadar mukhtasir formulae hume mil gaye in the case of the binomial. Of course, these formulae have their own derivations which I will not be doing in this course. We will simply apply them and if you are interested, you can also find the mean and variance of a binomial distribution by the other formulas that we discussed earlier and you can compare the results of the two. So, in this particular example, since the number of tosses is 5 and since p is equal to half, hence the expected value of x is equal to 5 into half and that is 2.5. Similarly, since q is equal to half, therefore, the variance of x is equal to 5 into half into half and that is equal to 5 over 4. When we take the square root of this quantity, the standard deviation of our binomial distribution comes out to be 1.12. Dividing the standard deviation by the mean and multiplying by 100, we obtain the coefficient of variation which in this particular example comes out to be 44.8 percent. The binomial distribution that we considered in this particular example came out to be absolutely symmetric. But students, this is not the case all the time. In fact, is baat ka taluk 
पी की वैल्यू से है कि आपकी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिमेट्रिक है पॉजिटिवली स्क्यूड है या नेगेटिवली स्क्यूड है एज यू नाउ सी ऑन द स्क्रीन इफ पी इज इक्वल टू क्यू इन अदर वर्ड्स इफ बोथ पी एंड क्यू आर इक्वल टू हाफ देन वी ऑप्टेन एन एब्सोलूटली सिमेट्रिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ पी इज लेस देन क्यू इन अदर वर्ड्स पी इज लेस देन हाफ वेर एज क्यू इज ग्रेटर देन हाफ देन आवर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज पॉजिटिवली स्क्यूड एंड इफ पी इज ग्रेटर देन क्यू इन अदर वर्ड्स इफ पी इज ग्रेटर देन हाफ एंड क्यू इज लेस देन हाफ देन आवर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज नेगेटिवली स्क्यूड बट द डिग्री ऑफ स्क्यूनेस डिक्रीजेज एज द नंबर ऑफ ट्रायल्स एन इंक्रीजेज ऑल राइट having understood the basic concept of the binomial experiment and the binomial distribution students i would now like to convey to you what is called the fitting of the binomial distribution to real data let me explain this concept with the help of an example the following data has been obtained by tossing a loaded die five times and noting the number of times that we obtain a 6 fit a binomial distribution to this data the data is as follows the random variable x takes the values 0 1 2 3 4 5 and x represents the number of sixes that we have in five tosses of the die and the frequencies corresponding to the various x values are 12 56 74 39 18 and 1 so that the sum of the frequencies is 200 aaiye is problem ko understand karne ki koshish karte hain dekhiye aap shayad confuse ho rahe ho ke humne 5 dafa toss kiya tha to phir ye 200 kahan se aa gaya इस चीज को भी हम मेथोडिकली स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच करेंगे सबसे पहली बात यह है कि ये जो बायोनॉमिल एक्सपेरिमेंट है इसमें स्मॉल एन जो है दैट इज फाइव इसलिए कि वो जो डाई है उसको हम पांच दफा ही टॉस कर रहे हैं लेकिन द पॉइंट टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर बायोनॉमिल एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ टॉसिंग अ डाई फाइव टाइम्स is being repeated 200 times yani aap isko is tarah samajh lijiye ki jaise ek classroom mein 200 students baithe hue hain aur aap un tamam students se kahiye ke us die ko bari bari har student panch panch dafa toss kar de so uh, we must not mix small n with capital n in this problem small n is 5 बट कैपिटल एन इज टू हंड्रेड यानी वो जो एक बायनॉमिल एक्सपेरिमेंट था कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ फाइव टॉसेज ऑफ द डाई दैट एक्सपेरिमेंट इज बींग रिपीटेड टू हंड्रेड टाइम्स नाउ दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस बेसिक पॉइंट द अदर थिंग इज वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी अब देखिए अगर ये फेयर डाई होता तो हम कहते कि सिक्स यानी छिक्का आने की प्रॉबेबिलिटी जो है दैट इज वन ओवर सिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लासिकल डेफिनेशन लेकिन यहां पे वी आर सेइंग दैट इट इज अ लोडेड डाई लोडेड डाई किसे कहते हैं द वन व्हिच इज नॉट फेयर उसके अंदर जो वेट है वो एक तरफ शिफ्ट किया हुआ है सो दैट व्हेन यू टॉस इट इट इज नॉट अ फेयर डाई सम ऑफ द फेसिस हैव greater probability of occurring than some others to ab is situation mein students hum probability of getting a 6 kaise compute karenge i hope you remember the relative frequency definition of probability that if an experiment is repeated again and again and again a very very large number of times then 
the proportion of successes is taken as the probability of success. Is example me getting a six may be regarded as success, or if we have this die ko bahut zyada the fatos kare, to phir jis proportion me six aya that would be the probability. Ab masla ye hai ke according to this definition, aapko is die ko infinite the fatos karna chahiye, aur uske andar jo proportion aayega that will be the probability. और उस केस में जो प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बनती है उसका मीन म्यू दैट इज इक्वल टू एन पी जैसे कि पहले बताया दैट द मीन ऑफ एनी बायोनॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज इक्वल टू एन पी लेकिन आप अग्री करेंगे कि किसी भी रियल लाइफ सिनेरियो में आप एक्सपेरिमेंट को इनफिनिट दफा तो बहरहाल रिपीट नहीं कर सकते I may be able to repeat this particular experiment of tossing a die five times, two hundred times, or I might repeat it two thousand times, or even two million times. But students, I cannot do this infinite number of times. तो फिर आप क्या करें? अब इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि हमारे पास जो डेटा आएगा, उसकी मीन वैल्यू अगर हम कंप्यूट करें तो वी कैन ओनली कॉल इट एक्स बार यानी वो जो 200 दफा टॉस किया या 500 दफा भी टॉस करें तो दैट इज ओनली अ सैम्पल ऑफ टॉसेस आउट ऑफ द इनफिनिट नंबर ऑफ टॉसेस दैट वी कुड हैव डन तो चूंकि ये सिर्फ एक सैम्पल है इसलिए इसका जो मीन है दैट इज एलिजिबल टू बी कॉल्ड एक्स बार एंड नॉट म्यू तो चूंकि एक्स बार ही हमें अवेलेबल हो सकता है इसलिए स्टूडेंट्स द बेस्ट वी कैन डू इज टू रिप्लेस द थोरेटिकल वैल्यू म्यू बाय इट्स एस्टिमेट एक्स बार आफ्टर ऑल सैंपल मीन जो है वो पॉपुलेशन मीन का एस्टिमेट तो है ना अ सैंपल स्टेटिस्टिक इज ऑलवेज एन एस्टिमेट ऑफ द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग पॉपुलेशन पैरामीटर सो इस हवाले से आवर इक्वेजन म्यू इज इक्वल टू एन पी इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द इक्वेजन एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू एन पी एंड इफ वी ब्रिंग एन टू द अदर साइड स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑप्टेन पी इज इक्वल टू एक्स बार ओवर एन एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला that we will apply in order to find p as you now see on the screen in this particular example the column of x is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the column of frequencies 12 56 56 and so on hence multiplying the x column with the column of frequencies we obtain the column of fx the sum of which is equal to 398 dividing that by the sum of the f column we obtain 398 over 200 and that is equal to 1.99 substituting this value in the equation x bar equal to np we obtain 1.99 is equal to 5p or p is equal to 0.398 students aapne dekha ke binomial distribution ke jo do parameters hain n aur p unme se n to hame pehle hi malum tha isliye ke we knew that we were tossing the die five times so n is equal to 5 p hame malum nahi tha lekin abhi is method se jo maine convey kiya we have found the value of p which is actually actually an estimate of the true value of p the value that we have obtained is 0.398 aur aap gaur kijiye ke agar ye die fair hota to 6 ke aane ki probability hoti 1 over 6 and that is equal to 0.167 
तो आप देख रहे हैं कि जो वैल्यू हमें अब हासिल हुई है दैट इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम 0.167, 0.398 और 0.167 में तो बहुत फर्क है सो इट इज अ क्लियर इंडिकेशन दैट द डाई इज एक्चुअली नॉट फेयर एट ऑल ऑल राइट having found the value of p and already having the value of n students we will now find all the probabilities for this particular example as i conveyed earlier the formula for the binomial distribution is n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x and so in this example as you now see on the screen the formula is 5 c x 0.398 raised to x into 0.602 raised to 5 minus x. The value 0.602 is obtained by subtracting 0.398 from 1 because q is always equal to 1 minus p. Now this formula has to be applied. to the various values of x which in this example are 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and substituting these values of x in this formula one by one we obtain the following probability distribution the probability that x is equal to 0 is equal to 0.07907 the probability that x is equal to 1 is 0.26136 and so on once again none of the probabilities is negative it is just not possible that a probability is negative and the sum of these six probabilities is equal to 1 students प्रॉबिलिटीज हमने निकाल ली और अब हम एक स्टेप और करना चाहते हैं एंड दैट इज द कॉम्प्यूटेशन ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंसीज अब एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंसीज से क्या मुराद है देखिए जो डेटा आपको पहले मैंने प्रेजेंट किया था यानी द कॉलम ऑफ एक्स एंड द कॉलम ऑफ एफ जिसका सम 200 था दोज व what we call the observed frequencies isliye ke ye wo frequencies thi jo actual experimentation ke zariye hasil hui thi jaise maine kaha agar 200 students ne bari bari ye experiment kiya ke us loaded die ko panch dafa har student ne toss kiya to jab unhone actually ye experiment perform kiya na then these were the frequencies in other words this is what we observed in reality iske baraks expected frequency se kya murad hai those frequencies that we expect to have on the basis of the binomial distribution yani jo probabilities humne abhi abhi compute ki hain इन प्रॉबिलिटीज की वैलिडिटी की सूरत में फ्रीक्वेंसीज क्या होनी चाहिए थी वॉट कुड वी एक्सपेक्ट इफ दिस बाइनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वॉज एक्चुअली वैलिड स्टूडेंट्स हाउ डू वी कंप्यूट दम वेरी सिंपल ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज टू मल्टीप्लाई ईच वन ऑफ दीज प्रॉबिलिटीज बाई टू हंड्रेड the total of the frequencies that we earlier had and as you now see on the screen if we do so we obtain the following expected frequencies 15.8 is the expected frequency for x equal to 0 and for x equal to 1 the expected frequency is 52.5 next we have 69.1 45.7 15.1 and 2.0 it is interesting 
and important to note that the sum of the expected frequencies is 200 exactly the same as the sum of the observed frequencies. Students, aye, ye jo abhi abhi humne nikali hai expected frequencies, inko interpret karne ki koshish karte hai. Jaise maine pehle kaha, ke sabse pehli jo expected frequency hai, that is 15.8. Or ye x equal to 0 ke against fall kar rahi. Ab iska kya matlab hai? Iska matlab ye hai, ke ye jo experiment hai na, if it is a, a proper binomial experiment in which the four conditions that I conveyed earlier are fulfilled and whose parameters are n equal to 5 and p equal to 0 0.398, then if we do this binomial experiment 200 times, we should obtain x equal to 0 15.8 times. Now, you will say that this is very confusing. Ho gaya. Once again, note that there is no need to panic. Ki koi nahi hai. All you have to do is to think that 15.8 relative to 200 means 158 relative to 2000. यानी आप उसका एक जीरो बढ़ा दीजिए तो 15.8 का डेसिमल भी तो एक प्लेस के हिसाब से शिफ्ट हो जाएगा तो हम क्या कह रहे हैं कि अगर हम ये एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ टॉसिंग द लोडेड डाई फाइव टाइम्स 2000 दफा रिपीट करते तो 158 दफा वी वुड हैव ऑब्टेन्ड एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो यानी no 6 out of the 5 tosses. Yani 5 dafa toss kiya aur ek bhi dafa 6 nahi aaya. Ye wala jo outcome hai, ye jo result hai, this will be obtained 158 times in 2000 repetitions of this experiment. Bilkul isi tarah se, we can interpret all the other expected frequencies and students what is the point in doing this dekhiye maine aap se kaha tha ki is waqt hum discuss kar rahe hain fitting of a binomial distribution to real data real data jo tha usme jo observed frequencies thi ab jo expected frequencies aayi hain hum dekhna chahte hain कि आया ये expected frequencies जो हैं, are they tallying well with the observed ones or is there a discrepancy between them? अगर observed और expected में ज़्यादा फर्क नहीं है, then we can say that what we have fitted, it is a good fit. लेकिन अगर हम देखें कि Hamari fitted distribution or observed distribution mein bahut fark hai. Then of course, we think that there is something wrong and maybe this particular binomial distribution is not the proper one to be fitted to this particular data set. To sawali peda hota hai ki phir humne shuru mein fit hi kyun kiya tha? Agar isne baad mein सही नहीं साबित होना तो फिर तो हमें शुरू से ही इस मामले पे गौर करना चाहिए था देखिए स्टूडेंट्स शुरू हम रीजनेबल असम्पशंस पे ही कर रहे हैं हम इसलिए बायोनॉमियल फिट कर रहे हैं इस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन में कि हमने देखा कि 200 स्टूडेंट्स जो क्लासरूम में बैठे हुए हैं बारी बारी उन सब ने एक लोडेड को पांच पांच दफा टॉस किया तो हमने देखा कि चारों कंडीशंस पूरी हो रही हैं द फर्स्ट वन दैट एवरी ट्रायल और इन अदर वर्ड्स एवरी टॉस रिजल्ट्स इन आइदर 
6 or not a 6, yani either a success or a failure. Secondly, we noted that every toss was independent of every other toss. After all, jab aap ek dafa phenke, uske baad aap usko uthaye aur dobara phenke, to zahir hai ke dusri martaba jo result aara hai, uska pehle result ke saath koi taalluk nahi hai. Pehla result, dusre result ko affect nahi kar raha. Number three, the probability of success remains constant from trial to trial. Ab point ye hai ke agar wo fair die hota, तो हम कहते कि probability of getting a six is one over six और हम ये कहते कि खा हम इसको पांच पांच दफा toss करने का अमल 200 दफा भी repeat करें यानी in all एक हजार दफा भी toss कर लें तो it is still a fair die यानी our assumption is that the symmetry of the die is not distorted इसी तरह की assumption हम loaded die mein bhi karenge ke even if it is loaded jis tarah se bhi wo load kiya gaya hai uski wohi halat rehti hai throughout the experiment aur us wo ghista nahi hai jis tarah se bhi hai usi tarah se hai and what is the fourth and last condition of a binomial experiment the number of trials is fixed in advance is uh, example mein the number of trials is 5 it is fixed in advance और हमने तमाम तर स्टूडेंट्स वो जो 200 स्टूडेंट बैठे हुए हैं हमने सबसे कहा कि आपने पांच ही दफा इसको टॉस करना है सो यू सी स्टूडेंट्स हमने बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फिट ही इसलिए की थी कि वी वर रीजनेबली कॉन्फिडेंट दैट दिस सिचुएशन इज अ बायोनोमियल एक्सपेरिमेंट सिचुएशन अब ये जो मैंने पहले बात कही कि हम कंपेयर करना चाहते हैं एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंसीज को with the observed frequencies. The observed frequencies are 12, 56, 74, 39, 18 and 1. Whereas the expected frequencies are 15.8, 52.5, 69.1 and so on. Now if we compare each expected frequency with the corresponding observed frequency, you will probably agree that there is not a very big difference between them. 15.8 is not extremely different from 12, nor is 52.5 from 56. Isi tara, 74 or 69.1 mein bohat shadeed farq nahi hai and so on. Aap mein se kuch students shayad bohat heran ho rahe hoon. कि मैंने कहा कि 15.8 और 12 में ज़्यादा फ़र्क नहीं है या बाकी जो कंपैरिजन्स किए बात असल में ये है कि अगर हम इस मामले में इंट्यूटिवली सोचें तो सम ऑफ अस विल थिंक दैट दीज डिफरेंसेस आर नॉट वेरी बिग सम अदर्स माइट थिंक दैट दे आर क्वाइट बिग सो दिस इज़ नॉट द वे टू एक्चुअली डील विद दिस प्रॉब्लम in fact, there is a procedure known as the chi-square test of goodness of fit and that is the proper statistical procedure by which we can determine whether or not we should say that these differences are big. The chi-square test of goodness of fit comes under the realm of statistical inference and that is the third and last segment of this course, which I will inshallah begin in the 31st lecture. Is waqt mein chahungi ke aap is baare mein intuitively hi soche. And in order to assist you in this, I would like to present to you the line charts that you now see on the screen. The line chart of the observed frequency distribution has been superimposed on the line chart of the expected frequency distribution. Aap in line charts ko, ko compare kije or decide kije ke aapke apne khayal mein kya ye farq zyada hai ya kam hai. All right. Having conveyed the basic concepts of the binomial distribution, 
I would now like to apply it to a real life example, an example from industry. As you now see on the screen, suppose that the past record indicates that the proportion of defective articles produced by a certain factory is 7%. And suppose that a law newly instituted in this particular country states that there should not be more than 5% defective. Suppose that the factory owner makes the statement that his machinery has been overhauled so that the number of defectives has decreased. In order to examine this claim, the relevant government department decides to send an inspector to examine a sample of 20 items produced in that factory. What is the probability that the inspector will find two or more defective items in his sample so that a fine will be imposed on the factory? Students, Aapne dekha ke kitna interesting problem hai and it is a very pertinent real life problem. Ab dekhte hai ke is situation mein why is it that we can say that we are dealing with a binomial experiment. Sab se pehli baat ye ke in a factory thousands and thousands of um, items are produced. So we can say that the experiment of the production of the item is being repeated a very large number of times or is wajah se relative frequency definition jo hai that is valid jo relative frequency definition hai uske tehet the probability of success which in this particular case is defective item how much will that be according to the past record of this factory 7% of the items are defective and so we can say that P is equal to 0 0.07. Now, what about N, the number of trials? Students, aapne dekha ke wo jo inspector hai, usne 20 items ko um, inspect karna hai. Iska matlab hai that the number of trials is 20. So, we have identified both the parameters of our binomial distribution. N is equal to 20 and p is equal to 0 0.07. Now, what is the x value whose probability we want to find? Hamara question tha ke what is the probability that this inspector will find two or more defective items in his sample so that a fine will be imposed on this uh, factory? To us hawale se as you now see on the screen, we are interested in finding the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2. And x of course represents the number of defective items in the sample of 20. According to the law of complementation, the probability of a bar is equal to 1 minus the probability of A and applying this formula in this example, we have probability that X is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus the probability that X is less than 2 and this is further equal to 1 minus the probability that X is equal to 0 or X is equal to 1. And this can be written as 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0 minus the probability that x is equal to 1. Students, basic equation hume mil gayi aur ab hum ye jo probabilities hain of x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 ye hum compute karna chahte hain. So, what is the formula of the binomial distribution? Ncx p raised to x q raised to n minus x and in this particular example repeating myself n is equal to 20 and p is equal to 0 0.07. So, 
as you now see on the screen, the required probability is equal to 1 minus 20 C 0, 0 0.07 raised to 0 into 0 0.93 raised to 20 minus 0 minus 20 C 1 into 0 0.07 raised to 1 into 0 0.93 raised to 20 minus 1. Solving these expressions, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 comes out to be 41.3 percent. Students, ye jo result hai, aye isko interpret karne ki koshish karte hain. Hamne dekha ke agar us factory owner ne ye jo claim kiya tha ke uski machinery overhaul ho gayi hai aur number of defective items decrease ho gaya hai. Agar aisa actually nahi hai. Or actually, the machinery is in the same situation as before, so that the probability of defective item is still 0.07 percent. Then, the probability is 41 percent that this inspector will find two or more defective items in his sample. Ab agar 20 k sample me usko do defective item milte hain, to iska matlab hua 10 percent. Or jo nai law hai, uske tehet to 5 percent se zyada nahi honi chahiye the. Iska matlab hai ke chances 41 percent hai that the factory owner will be fined for this kind of a production. All right, having discussed the binomial distribution in considerable detail, students, the next distribution that I would like to discuss with you is the hypergeometric distribution. And Whenever we conduct what is called a hypergeometric experiment, then we have the distribution which is called the hypergeometric distribution. Ab sawal ye paida hota hai ke hypergeometric experiment se kya murad hai? Iski bhi char hi properties hain, jin mein se pehli aur chauthi bilkul identical hai with the binomial experiment, lekin jo second aur third properties hain, they are very different. In case of the binomial experiment students, we said that um, the trials are independent and the probability of success remains constant from trial to trial. Is case may hum kahenge that the trials are not independent of each other and the probability of success changes from trial to trial. Um, is kasam ki situation kab paida hoti hai? Whenever we draw a sample without replacement from a finite population, um, we are encountering this kind of a situation. First ki jay ke taash ka jo ek deck hai, jis mein bavan patte hai, us mein se hum ek patta draw kare. And suppose it comes out to be a black card. Pehli martaba jab humne draw kiya tha, what was the probability of getting a black card? 26 over 52, is liye ke bavan mein se 26 patte kale hote hain. Now that one card has been drawn and if we put it away and we do not replace it in the deck, so that we can say that we are sampling without replacement students, ab us deck mein ikavan patte baqi reh gaye aur 26 mein se ek kala patta nikal chuka hai so now we only have 25 black ones ab agar hum ek aur patta usme se draw kare what do we have the probability of getting a black card this time is equal to 25 over 51 and this is not exactly the same as 26 over 52 Hence, you can see that in this kind of a situation, the successive trials are not independent of each other and the probability of success changes from trial to trial. Dusri martaba mujhe kya hasil hua? Depend karta hai is baat pe ke pehli martaba red patta nikla tha ya black nikla tha. Agar red nikla hota, to dusri martaba me the probability of getting a black card would have been 26 over 51. Or agar black nikla, 
तो फिर अब प्रॉबिलिटी इस केस में अब क्या है 25 फाइव ओवर फिफ्टी वन तो सेकेंड ड्रॉ की जो आउटकम है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट हैपन्ड इन द फर्स्ट ड्रॉ और देखा आपने साथ ही के द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग अ ब्लैक कार्ड इज चेंजिंग फ्रॉम ट्रायल टू ट्रायल इस सिनेरियो में द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट वी हैव इज कॉल्ड द हाइपर जोमेट्रिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नाउ सी ऑन द स्क्रीन द फॉर्मूला फॉर द प्रॉबिलिटीज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन इज the probability that my random variable capital x takes a value small x is equal to kcx into n minus k c n minus x over n c n students is formula mein aapne dekha ke teen quantities exist kar rahi hain capital n small n and k अब जो एग्जाम्पल मैंने अभी प्रेजेंट किया था उस हवाले से कैपिटल एन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ कार्ड दैट वी हैव इन द डेक इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड के रिप्रेजेंट्स द नंबर ऑफ सक्सेसेस इन दिस पॉपुलेशन इफ आई मे कॉल इट अ पॉपुलेशन इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट तो 26 पत्ते चूंके काले होते हैं देर फोर वी से दैट के इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट वॉट इज स्मॉल एन द नंबर ऑफ कार्ड दैट आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ फ्रॉम दिस डेक विदाउट रिप्लेसमेंट सो अगर हमने ये फैसला किया हुआ है कि हम पांच पत्ते ड्रॉ करेंगे देन वी से दैट स्मॉल एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव सो कैपिटल एन स्मॉल एन and small k are the three parameters of the hypergeometric distribution students ye jo loves mein istemal kar rahi hu this is very very important aapne dekha ke maine aapse kaha tha ke binomial distribution ke do parameter hote hain small n and small p aur hypergeometric ke liye maine aapse abhi kaha ke capital n small n aur small k ye तीन पैरामीटर हैं फॉर द हाइपरजोमेट्रिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वॉट डू वी मीन बाय पैरामीटर्स स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर दो क्वान्टिटीज विच डिटर्मिन आवर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यानी अगर आप इन क्वान्टिटीज की वैल्यूज बदल दें यू विल ऑप्टेन एवरी टाइम अ न्यू हाइपरजोमेट्रिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वो हाइपरजोमेट्रिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जिसमें कैपिटल एन 10 है स्मॉल एन 5 है और के जो है दैट इज इक्वल टू 8, उसका लाइन चार्ट उसकी शक्ल इट विल बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट हाइपरजोमेट्रिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जिसका कैपिटल एन 20 है स्मॉल एन 11 है एंड के इज इक्वल टू 16. सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एनी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट यू विल टेक अप you should be very clear about the parameters of that distribution ab sawal ye paida hota hai ke is tarah ki situation kab arise hogi students i will discuss with you this problem in detail in the next lecture in the meantime i would like you to practice with the various concepts concerning the binomial distribution that we have dealt with today in particular i would like you to fit a uh, binomial distribution to real data wherever you think that you are dealing with what can be called a binomial experiment isliye aap apni textbook mein se aur mukhtalif aur kitabon mein se is tarah ke example aur unsolved exercises take up kijiye और इस प्रॉब्लम के ऊपर वर्क कीजिए आई विश यू द वेरी बेस्ट इन योर स्टडी ऑफ प्रॉबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड स्टूडेंट्स अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम अल्लाह हाफिज़